what I'm doing today. It's Friday, so things are going good. The weather isn't too bad. It still doesn't feel like January out there, knock on wood. Hope it stays that way. It's nice. Well, I shouldn't say nice and warm, but it's warmer. I'm gonna go hook up to my trailer and start the day. big city. I'm in the dock. They're putting stuff in the box. Stuff of epic proportions that only a professional can deliver. So I don't know why they sent me. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, I think this stuff is going into rural Manitoba. I'm probably going to put some more stuff on the trailer before I head out. I got into the city nice and early today. Uh, so what's the time now? Uh, time is... Time to get a watch, right? 8.50. So before 9 o'clock and we're in the city loading already. So we shouldn't have a problem spending the morning getting this trailer all filled up. And then we can spend the afternoon getting it all unloaded. And then we can bring back an empty trailer. Park the truck inside and go home for the glorious weekend. Oh, I think they're done. I heard the, the thingy go up. Oh, yep, there it is. The dock plate, heard that go up. Next I'll hear my trailer rolling door close. Or not. Is he gonna leave it open? Oh, whatever. I have to go and open it and check on things anyway. I don't care if they leave it open. So here I can't go into the building either. Uh, COVID. So i got to wait for him to come out. Oh, he was just putting the dock plate down. Well, they're just getting started now? I'm confused. Oh, whatever. So I can't go in there. They're doing their thing and they're going to load me up. When they're done, they bring the paperwork out and they put it in a box outside. And I watch them walk over to the box, put it in the box, and close it. Then they walk back inside. Then I can go and get my paperwork from said box. I open it, get my paperwork, close it back up, and then go to my truck. Contactless pickup. That's how they do it here. Each place is a little different. I wish there was sort of like a uniform rule that everybody followed. But since we are somewhat free still, each individual business private business can sort of make their own rules around the general guidelines of the pandemic. 
So it is kind of confusing. Every place you go to is different. You just got to be patient and uh, keep your ears open, your eyes open, listen, read the signs, and be as polite and kind as you can. Oh, there he goes with my paperwork now. I guess they were done. Okay. So now I'll watch for him to put it in the box, and then I'll go get my paperwork, pull out of the dock, go check on everything, and be off to the next place. It's Friday. Anyone in the mood for meatballs? I haven't gone to Ikea in so long. All I can remember from there is that it's the most confusing store to get out of. And meatballs. They sell meatballs. And cheap furniture. <laughs> that doesn't come with proper instructions, it's just pictures. I've been able to get my bean to cup. Oh, I'm excited. So I'm on my way into southern Manitoba here. Filled up the trailer in Winnipeg this morning. And we're out to make our deliveries and then go home for the weekend. Oh yeah. Are you excited? What are your weekend plans? Let me know. I need to know.
trucking today. I've got three more deliveries to make. Time is quarter to three. I think I should be able to make it, no problem.
this to me is Canada, this to me is home. When you think of Canada, and if you're not from Canada, and you think of Canada, what comes to mind? What do you think of? Let me know down below. So, got off work. Oh, I'd love to go home. But Britt says she's in there and would like some help. I don't know where in there, but she's in there somewhere. It's tough grocery shopping on your own, especially when you got a lot of groceries to carry to the car. I'll go in there and see what she's up to. Give her a hand. Whoa, and try not to fall on the way in. Look at that big Chevy over there. Brand spanking new pickup truck. And he goes and voids all his warranty by lifting it up. It's got to be, what, 10 inches or so? 10, 12 inch lift? Must be doing pretty well for himself if he can afford to do that. Or he's just really, really hoping that nothing's going to go wrong and that he won't need his warranty. It looks cool either way. Got to give him that. It does look cool. All right, guys, so uh, it came. Just finishing this vlog up the next day, so it is Saturday, it came on time. This is the new microphone, see, and it just sits on a little mount. Doot, right there. There's so many wires on this desk. This is exactly why I moved the desk back to this room so that all of these wires wouldn't be around our main living area. There's just lots, and I, I need it all. It's, it's all needed. Like these cords here for my headset. This is for my USB ports uh, that I hide back there. This is for my webcam here. This is for the internet connection. This is for the monitor. It's all needed. So that's why we have it back here. Then we have our charging cables over here and here. The life of cords. But it's hidden away in this room now. My office slash guest room slash dog room. All right, guys? They're my co-editors and the publishers. I have to impress them with my vlogs, otherwise they fire me. So this thing comes with its own little carrying case. It's a Comica professional audio equipment. I think it comes from China. What? I got all I can afford. Okay, so... It's got this fluffy little mic, an extra thingamajiggers in there, everything you need in there, and a little bag of silica beads that I'm supposed to throw away. Do not eat, it says. Good thing I put that on there, otherwise I would have thrown on. I thought it was candy. You know, you buy a camera from China, they always send you a little candy bag. But it says do not eat on it. I don't get it. All right, so if I hold the mic here, it's a directional mic, so it should be picking me up real good. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? What if I point it the other way? Hello? Testing. Testing. It doesn't work if you speak into the rear end. Hopefully that will uh, make the audio a little bit better from here on out. I guess we'll see. Because if I talk at the same time, level as I was before without the mic, this is what it sounds like. So this is without the mic, and I'm just going to plug it in here real quick. And this is what it would sound like with the microphone. The microphone would probably be you know, like further away, probably about like that. But as long as I have it pointed at me, it should sort of drown out the rest of the truck noise. Hopefully not all of it, because I, I like the sound of the truck in there. I just want my voice to be dominant over the truck. I don't want to have to yell and scream just to be heard all day. So this isn't something I would be using everywhere I go, but mostly just when there's a lot of background noise, maybe outside when it's windy, just to get that noise from the wind out of there. So there you go, a little bit of behind the scenes with TJV. <laughs> Excited when I get some new equipment. I don't get new equipment that often anymore, so I pretty much got everything I need. I use the GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition. We have two of them, so if this one goes out on me, I have a spare. 
uh, and I really like the wide angle. I know some people don't like the fisheye lens look, but I really like the wide angle. Sort of shows the room that I'm in more. Even though there's really nothing to show off about this room, this is just our storage room slash guest room slash dog room. So that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. We had a lot of fun trucking. It's time to enjoy the weekend now. Let me know what your weekend plans are down below. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel on YouTube. We make new videos pretty much every day, and there will be a new video tomorrow. What do we got planned for this weekend? I hear... I hear and I know that the overlords are easing restrictions on us this weekend and we are allowed to visit with people now. Is this foreshadowing or not? You'll, you won't know unless if you watch tomorrow's video, okay? But there is a tiny little dog, a little fluffball, that we really want to go spend some time with and see. And we may just have to go and... Uh, Check that out. You won't know until tomorrow, though, so we'll see you then. Take care.